This week, we're going to use the word decide with decide to be patient. Ugh, patient. That's a word a lot of us don't like, <laughs> to be patient. We live in a society where we want things now. We don't like to have to wait for anything. We want things quick, even in fast food. If it's not fast enough, we get impatient. But we live in this now society where we don't want to wait for anything. But patience is a fruit of the Spirit. And it's something that um, we need to develop in our lives. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Is being patient with God. Being patient in that waiting season of life. We're all, most all of us are in a waiting season. You're praying for something, you're believing God for something, you're standing for something, and you may be in that waiting season right now. Most of us live in that waiting season for whatever it is you're believing God for in your life. You may need something right now or um, an, a need that you have or a want that you have or whatever it is, we're in that waiting season, and oftentimes you can get really impatient waiting. Like, how long is this going to take? So that's what I want to talk to you about is patience in the waiting season, but also patience with people, having grace with people. Psalms 37, 7 says, rest and wait on the Lord. Rest and be patient and wait on the Lord. It says, um, in the Amplified, patiently lean yourself upon him. Rest in the Lord and patiently wait for him. Again, it's not something we all like to do is have to wait. But there's a waiting season. And if we can do that patiently and do it in faith, then the reward is going to come. But patience is something that we have to develop in our lives and act on. To be patient means able to tolerate delays, problems, or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. And that scripture in Psalms 37, 7, it says, rest in the Lord. It doesn't say be anxious in the Lord. It says to rest in the Lord. Joyce Meyer says that patience is not the ability to wait, but how you act while you're waiting it's not about the ability to wait but it's how you act in that waiting season patience is the virtue of waiting attentively without complaint ouch without complaint patience is something i think a lot of us have to work on again like i said we want things to happen now but faith is patience. They go hand in hand. When you can stay in faith, you can stay patient. Patience with God is waiting. It's wait in the waiting season, but it's simply trusting him and having faith in his word. When you can be in that waiting season and do it with patience, do it with joy, do it without being anxious or stressed out, that's just a form of faith. That you're staying in patience and you're staying in faith. They go hand in hand. Faith in his word. That's what can give you the ability to stay patient in circumstances and situations and things that you're believing God for. That you can stay in faith because you're staying patient. Another scripture in Psalms uh, 27, 14. It says, wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait. It says again, wait for the Lord. But it says, be strong in that wait. You know, waiting is just not like, oh, I'm just waiting on God to do something. No, it's a confidence in you that says, I can wait as long as I need to wait. I'm confident in God and his word. Therefore, I'm going to be patient. Again, patience and faith, they go hand in hand. Galatians 5.22 tells us, that um, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, then one of the fruit of the Spirit is patience. 
So it's in you. Patience is in us when we're filled with the Holy Spirit. But it's up to us to be able to develop that patience, to work out that patience, to um, tend to that patience. So when opportunities come in our lives, when we have to wait for something or we have to deal with people that get on our nerves and cause us to be impatient, well, that's an opportunity for us to pull on that patience, to pull it up and use the patience that's already on the inside of us. James 1, 3 through 4, it says the trying or the proving of your faith, it develops, it brings out patience. It says, let patience have full play and do a thorough work in you. So when you're using your faith, it's bringing out patience in you. Again, when you're using your faith, and patience is there. It's saying, God, I trust you. I believe your word. I'm not going to be anxious. I'm going to rest in your word. I'm going to rest in your promises for my life. I'm not going to be stressed out. I'm not going to be anxious. I'm going to walk in patience. Therefore, when you're walking in that patience, you're walking in faith. And it's working that out on the inside of you. So see that when you're using patience, you're using faith and they're working together to go towards that thing that you're believing God for. Now, dealing with people and patience. You know that scripture, it says, do unto others as you'd have done to you. Well, when you extend patience to people, it's, it's grace. You're extending grace to people. So think about that. When someone wants to test your patience, think about using it as um, a, grace, a grace extender. When you're patient with people or you're extending grace to people, you're showing them mercy because you want that same kind of thing done to you when you're do, doing something that causes other people to be impatient. Does that make sense? So walk in patience with people. Be kind, be considerate, be patient. And when you do that, you're extending God's grace to that person. Again, James 1, 3 through 4, it says the trying or proving of your faith, it brings out patience. And it says, let patience have its full play and do the thorough work that it needs to be doing in you. When you're in full faith, then you're in full patience. Verse 4 of the Passion Translation, it says, As your patience grows stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being so that nothing is missing and nothing is lacking. I love that. So when you're letting patience do what it needs to do inside of you, it's causing you to mature. Mature in your faith walk. And it's producing in you faith as you walk in patience that nothing is missing and nothing is lacking in your life. I love that. So think about that. You can wait right now, whatever it is you're waiting for in your life, you can wait in patience because you're confident in God and his word and his ability. And you can wait in patience with joy, not stressed out, not anxious but a confident patience in him. Make a decision today to be patient in all circumstances, in all circumstances. You know, there's opportunities that are gonna come up to try to test your patience. And especially when you've been waiting for something for a long time and you think, when God is this gonna change? When is this gonna happen? will dig deep inside and pull on that patience that's already on side of you. Pull it out. Bring it to the surface. Because when you're walking in patience, you're walking in faith. It's something we have to work on daily is to be patient. The enemy's going to come all the time to try to distract us, get us off course, get us impatient, get us anxious, um, get us upset at God. Why is it taking so long? 
But when we work on that patience on the inside of us, then we can deal with that waiting season in our life. And then we can deal with people in our life. It's so important that we walk in patience. All right, you guys have a great one. I'll see you next Friday.